Somewhere in this house, my kids have hidden my car keys, but attached to my car keys are two Bluetooth trackers. We have the Tile Mate, and I've got the brand new Samsung Smart Tag that was just launched. Today, we're gonna see how these work. Let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So this is the Tilemate, probably one of the world's most used and recognized Bluetooth trackers. It helps recover 6 million items each day in over 195 countries. You simply attach this to anything you think you may lose or anything you want to keep tabs on. And at a touch of a button, you're supposed to be able to find that lost item. The new player in the market is this new Smart Tag Bluetooth tracker from Samsung, who were kind enough to send it to me for this test. So let's compare these two before actually hunting for my keys. Size-wise, the Tilemate is 1.37 by 1.37 by 0.24 inches and is totally flat. Whereas the Smart Tag is slightly larger, 1.54 by 1.54 by 0.39 with a bit of a bulge in the middle. Battery wise, the Tilemate battery is locked up inside the device. It is supposedly a replaceable battery, but you do have to perform some minor surgery to pry it open, replace the battery, and then stick it back together again. The Samsung Smart Tag is very easy to replace with a CR2302 battery, which can easily be replaced by popping it open, taking out the old battery, replacing it with a new one and squishing it back together again. Distance wise, well, the Tilemate has a range of 200 feet or 61 meters, whereas the Samsung Smart Tag has a range of almost double that, 390 feet or 118 meters. Compatibility, well, the Tilemate takes an advantage here. It can work on iOS devices, and anywhere from iOS 12 onwards, or any Android devices, Android 8 and upwards. Smart Tags from Samsung can only work on a Galaxy phone running Android 8.0 or higher, and the phone needs to have two gigs of RAM. Price-wise, the Tilemate is priced at $24.99, and the Samsung Smart Tag is at $29.99. So let's look at how these trackers actually work. We're going to start with the new Samsung Smart Tag. You first have to install the Smart Things app on your phone, and then you're going to have to download an additional component that Smart Things Find. Then the smart tag seamlessly pairs with your phone using Bluetooth low energy. To find your lost item, simply press on view map and then the search nearby option. You can then use the signal strength meter to find your item. The closer the tag is to the phone, the stronger the signal is. Of course, the further away it is from the phone, the weaker the signal is. So essentially you're moving around until you're finding that the signal meter gets stronger and stronger, which means you're getting closer and closer to your device. You can also activate a tiny speaker inside the smart tag so it plays music, which kind of makes it easier to find. Now, the same thing happens with the Tau. You install the Tau app and then you pair your Tau tracker with your phone using the same Bluetooth low energy. To find the lost item, simply tap on the tag that you want to find and then click the find button. You then use the signal strength meter to track down your item. Again, the closer you are to your tile, the stronger the signal becomes, the weaker you are, well, it's further away. And of course, you have an audio option as well, so it plays music whilst you're actively searching. Now, both these trackers have the option for a reverse search. In other words, if you've got your tile or you've got your Samsung Smart Tag and you cannot find your phone, no problem, you can simply press the button on the trackers themselves and it makes your phone ring, even if your phone was set to silent or vibrate mode. Now, with Samsung Smart Tag, you have additional functionality with this button you can set it to take specific actions when your button is pressed, such as automatically sending a text or a message to a contact or even switching on the lights. Now, both these trackers use Bluetooth, which means you've got to be within Bluetooth range to find the items. So of course, the big question is, what happens when you're not in range? Well, let's say you dropped your keys whilst out for a walk and now the tracker isn't within reach of your phone. What do you do? There are actually two options. Firstly, with the towel, you can look at the location history and see where was the last place it had a connection with your phone. You can then retrace your steps back to that area and hopefully your Bluetooth will then pick up the towel again. Now, you're supposed to be able to do the same with the Samsung Smart Tag, but I really couldn't see where that option is in the app. Now, the second option that you have with both the towel and the Samsung Smart Tag 
is that you can mark an item as lost or notify me when it is found. You see, what happens when you install the Tile or the SmartThings Find app, you become part of a global network. When anyone flags their item as lost, anyone with the app installed essentially becomes part of the search party. The idea is that eventually someone's gonna go near your lost tracker, near your lost device, and the phone will anonymously send a found it notification to your phone. You will then get the approximate location of where the Bluetooth signal was picked up, so you can go to that location and use your phone to try find the item. And no, they cannot use their phone to find the item for you. They don't even know that that message has been sent. So the larger the network is, the more chance you have of recovering your items. And since Tile has been around for quite a while, they have a pretty large network, and the odds are pretty good that if you're in a big city, someone is going to be part of that network and walk past your lost item. Samsung, on the other hand, has only launched the Smart Things Find back in October 2020, I believe, and that was used to help find Galaxy phones and tablets and smartwatches and earbuds. At that time, they had 6 million users across Korea, the UK and the US who have already signed up for that service. I can only assume that that network is growing and growing and growing and that Smart Tag has now become part of that. Okay, let's start the search for the keys. So I have the Samsung Smart Tag app on the left. I have got the Tal app on the right. And as you can see, you have to simply move around until it picks up the signal. You can clearly see that the signal gets picked up at different intervals. In other words, sometimes the Samsung picks up the signal faster than the Tile. Sometimes the Tile picks up the signal faster than the Samsung Tag. But um, obviously, I'm comparing them side by side. If you just had one, you would just pick up the one that you want to do. Now, as you move around, your signal goes from weak to moderate to strong and as you get closer and closer. But what is really an amazing feature, which I didn't think was until I actually used it, is simply enabling the audio. Because as soon as you're within range, as you hit that audio button, it starts to make that noise from that tiny little speaker and it allows you to really home in on the item and find it. Now, while Samsung is technically late to this game, well, the Smart Tag has really come out with a strong offer. Now, Tile has a more mature app with several features, and of course, it works on both Android and iOS, whereas Samsung only works on Samsung Galaxy devices at this stage, which kind of limits the market. Whilst no date has been announced at this time, I look forward to testing the new ultra wideband Smart Tag, which is due to come out at some point, and that is gonna provide much more accuracy. I also hear rumors that Tile is also working on a similar tracking product, so the market is definitely heating up. Check out more phone tips and tricks over here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.